There are some moments in life so beautiful, so breathtaking, that we just want to rob time so we can savor them just a wee bit longer. Once when I was a little girl living in Alaska, my mom, dad, and I took a boat trip to a nearby village. It took us about three days to get there. And so I remember it laying on the floor and we rounded this mountain and this huge crashing waterfall came into view. It was surrounded by evergreens. There were bald eagles in the trees. It was so magnificent. It was so expressive and so wild that I took a mental picture of it because I never wanted to forget that beautiful moment. Moments like this can be so powerful that we want to hold them close. So Emma designed a beautiful cardigan pattern for you to remind you of those special moments that you'll experience in life. Rubato is a musical term that means to rob time. So when a composer adds this to a piece, it gives the performer the liberty to stretch the tempo to add to the emotional impact of the music. Some life experiences are so precious and so meaningful that you simply want to rob time to experience them a little bit longer. So our hope is that while you're making and wearing this cardigan, that you'll have a sense of wonder for the grandeur of this experience we call life. Emma designed this cardigan to be elegantly simple. It features beautiful cables running down the sides of each front, along the length of each sleeve, and of course the stunning panel on the back is just so gorgeous. And I know that these cables look complex, but they are actually simpler to work than they look. And we do have several videos on our channel of how to work cables both with and without cable needles, so please check those out. This will be a piece that you reach for every day and feel comfortable and lovely. I think you're going to adore how it drapes and flows and moves as you wear it. We chose to make this in a beautiful cotton silk blend yarn, so it's soft and springy, but but not overly warm. The yarn we chose to use is our luscious moon gleam fingering. It glows and shines and has the creamiest feel due to the cotton and silk. It drapes so nicely and it feels like butter on your skin. You're welcome to download this pattern and get the yarn at expressionfiberarts.com. And while you're there, be sure to sign up for email updates for weekly free knit and crochet patterns. Before we get into today's tutorial, I would love to hear from you. Take a moment and leave us a comment below and let us know a special memory that you have something that is meaningful to you that you still hold dear today. You just may inspire someone else. So something that we've never shown before on this channel, which I thought would be super fun to demonstrate, is how to apply button bands. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to put on the button band, the buttonhole band, and how to apply your buttons to this cardigan. So to pick up the stitches for our button band or a buttonhole band, this is the front of our cardigan, we're just gonna pretend. So we're gonna pick up stitches along this, picking up three stitches for every four rows. So I've got some contrasting yarn just to make it a little easier for you to see. And you can use a crochet hook for this if you like, but you're gonna reach your needle in to the very first space and go ahead and grab your yarn and pull up a little loop. Then jump over to the very next space, pull up a little loop, go into the third space and pull up a loop, and then we're actually gonna skip the next one because we only want three stitches for every four rows. Skip the next one, pick up a stitch in the next space. So there's one, two, three. Skip the next space. One, two, three. And you're just gonna continue all the way up. Skip, one, two, three, oops, three, and work all the way up to the top. Then you're gonna turn, and for the button band, you're just gonna work knit one, purl one, all the way down. So knit one, purl one, and you're gonna continue repeating that for each row until you have about one inch of button band. Now for the button hole band, you're only gonna work half an inch, and then we're gonna work the actual little button holes. So I will show you how to do that when I reach that point. Just continue working your knit one, purl one ribbing. And remember, when you come to a little purl bump, you purl it. When you come to this little V, you're gonna knit it because we are working ribbing. So purl the little bumps and knit your little Vs and you will be golden. So purl, knit, purl, knit, and just continue along. 
So here's what I've got so far. So since this is gonna be the button hole band, I've stopped at about half an inch. Remember for the actual button band, you'll wanna work a full inch before you bind off. Now before we work our little button holes, we need to know exactly where we want to place them. So this is a fun little tool. I use it in my knitting and sewing a lot. You don't have to have it, you can just use a tape measure. But if you wanna grab one of these, it makes it super simple to position your buttons exactly where you want them to be your buttons and your buttonholes. So we will go ahead and link below to this if you wanna try out this handy little tool. So once you've marked where you want your buttonholes to be, and you can just use little stitch markers, whatever works for you, you're gonna continue in ribbing just like you've been doing. And when you reach the point where you want your buttonhole to be, very simple, you're just gonna to knit two together and yarn over. And that yarn over is going to be your buttonhole. So then continue on in ribbing knit, purl, knit. When you reach the next area where you want your buttonhole, again, same thing, just knit two together, yarn over, which is forming your buttonhole, and then continue on in ribbing. And then do the same thing for all of your buttonholes. So I've worked another row of ribbing, so continue working your rows of ribbing and then bind off as mentioned in the pattern. And you can see our adorable little buttonholes. That truly is one of the easiest ways to apply buttonholes. Then the next step when choosing your buttons, you just wanna make sure that they fit through your buttonholes nicely. And we're gonna show you how to apply these. So here's our buttonhole band and here's our button band. So we just wanna make sure that our buttons are gonna be lined up with where our buttonholes are, of course. So go ahead and mark those on your button band and I'm gonna show you how to apply your adorable little buttons. To get started, you're gonna grab a needle and some thread and you should thread your needle double so your loose ends are here and your loop is over here. So to begin, you're gonna go ahead and grab some yarn where you want your button to be and we're gonna secure our thread to that. So don't pull it all the way through. Once you've got your little loop there, go ahead and thread your needle back through the loop and you've now secured it. And we're ready to put our button on. So go ahead and grab your little button. We're just gonna come up through and you can do whatever style you want. If you're using these little four hole buttons, you can go diagonally, you can go up and down, you can go sideways. It's completely up to you. So this is pretty straightforward. Just go ahead and sew on your button. I'm gonna go into these other holes here. Oops, catching my tails. Weave in your ends first. <laughs> I'll do once more. So you want it to be pretty secure. You'll wanna do it quite a few more times than this. So your button is not going anywhere because buttons get lots of use. And what I like to do in order to lift your button up and off so it's not squished into your fabric, Go ahead and come up sort of under your button. And we're gonna wrap our thread around it a few times. Oop, I remember them teaching us to do this way back in home ec class in eighth grade. And I've never forgotten. So it creates a little shank, so it lifts your button up. And then you actually just wanna go ahead and finish off right underneath your button so that the back is clean. So go ahead and slide your needle through your little loop and do that a few times so it's really secure. I like to even go through that shank part. It gives it a little extra bit of security. Pull it through your loop, and I would do that about three times. So I'll go ahead and stop there, but make sure it's really secure. Then you're good to go ahead and just finish off and then snip your thread under your button and you have a nice lifted secure button. So hopefully that was helpful for you in applying your beautiful little button bands to this cardigan. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out. And if you do make this, be sure to share your version. We absolutely love to see what you make with our patterns and yarns. So I hope you have a wonderful week and I will see you next week with another pattern. Bye.